What up, what up, guys? Yo, Fupon Savior here, and we are back with some more Melty Blood type Lumina. And I gotta tell you, bro, before we even start with type Lumina, I gotta tell you, if you weren't there at September 25th, 2021, if you weren't there, bro, hold on, bro, if you weren't there with all the Neko art, ASCII art, if you weren't there for that 10v10 exhibition, for Melty Blood, F. Lin versus C. Roa, then you're missing out. You're missing out because that exhibition was sick. And after the exhibition, we got some more gameplay with Type Lumina, which is Arima, Miyako versus Vaughn. Gameplay video too. So, like I said, let me mark the date again September 25th, 2021. Melty fans, they eating, bro. They eating. Ah! And yesterday they had their last character reveal art. Dang, the timing is too nice. Way too nice. Give me super hype for the game. And I'm gonna link the VODs, right? Majin Obama channel below if you wanna watch that 10v10 exhibition, which I highly recommend. If you're not watching it, you're really missing out. So I'm gonna link it in the description below so you can watch the exhibition. But let's push that aside. Let us give room and our attention to Miyako Arima versus Vlog. Gameplay video two. So we're gonna break that down. And I just wanna shout out to this too, right? Yo, the Melty Blood community, they're so sick. Not even just the exhibitions and all this all crazy stuff of Melty News happening this week. They're really good at gassing up the character, man. Honestly, I like Miyako too, but I never like 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 Miyako. I was like, uh, she, she's pretty cool, right? But then I'm like, oh shoot! The way she did it is like right hard, bro. From King of Fighters, then it make me respect Miyako a little bit more. Not even a little bit, a whole lot more. I don't even know that's supposed to be a direct reference to King of Fighters, but you know what? Let's just do it, bro. Let's just say it. Anyway, now that I get that fluff out the way right enough of that foreplay let's dig in there miyako versus Valve gameplay video two and just like the previous gameplay videos that we did in this past channel right we are going to digest first and then at the very end we're going to play 100 percent speed so hopefully right for a lot of people that's just starting for melted blood they can like the game will be too fast paced when they start you'll be used to it by now so let's start fight open your magic circus What's the, what's the first strats? What's the first strats? Ooh. Okay. Now let me explain this strat. Let me explain this strat. This Vlob normal. This Vlob normal. You see the normal Vlob with that jump normal? Keep your eyes out for it. That's going to be one of Vlob's main tools in this gameplay video. Miyako popping. Ooh, Miyako popping moon drive. Right? I don't know what she tried to do. I don't know why she did move version of lung punches, but also keep out. This is second, right? There's two things you want to watch out for Vlog, right? That jump normal that we saw that you know, just slice down and this multi slashing technique. This multi slashing skill from Vlog, he's going to be using those two moves a lot in neutral. And why? You just saw it right there why you want to use that slash technique in neutral. That, that technique hit far. And not to mention his air to air normals. Look at that, bro. All right, dang. <laughs> Why are you jumping against Vlov? You know, in Vlov character teaser, they really hype up Vlov air to air normals and his anti air. So it's very scary to. I, I was just gonna say, it's very scary to jump on Vlov, right? But also, it's kind of hard to get it because of all those missiles. But you know what Miyako did? She's not afraid, bro. You think she know what fear is? She don't even know fear. Drop the people's elbow. OTG. Bring Vlov to the corner. Test his onko, test his onko. Stomp on him. Vlov activate moon drive, but because he activated moon drive, one of his best move, I'm calling it. This is one of his best move. That, that slash skill that he's using, that's one of his best move. Not only is it really good in neutral it can also turn into a combo starter and when he put moon drive when he popped that moon drive and do the moon version that skill he can armor through stuff and if it hits you it's a combo starter and look at the damage look at the 
look how much he got paid. I think that's pretty good damage. And then again, like I said, you got you got to look out for this move. This is one of Vlog's main moves, that air slice. And then he tried to do a charge version, but Miyako burst it with the heat. Grab, uh, she's regaining some of her health back. Miyako trying to get in. Vlog pushing her back even further with the ground projectile. I like that. Shooting out them heat missiles. Miyako was able to shield one of his missiles. And then, wait, what? Why did he do that? He just like, he just teabag. Why? I don't know what Vlog was doing, but I'm gonna highlight it in, in another interaction. But Vlog missile is actually way better than I expected. But we'll get to that later. This interaction, I wanna show off. I told you. Whoop. Whoop. That jump normal. Bro, don't play with Vlog when he's jumping. When he's jumping, don't challenge him. Because if he charged that jump normal, guess what? That's a combo starter. And by the way, that wasn't counter hit. That wasn't fatal counter. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. This is before super. This is before super. So if you get hit by that jump normal and it's charged up, you're gonna be paying a price. And if he had three bars, that's a huge price to pay. Whoa, 23. And again, I told you, bro. He's gonna be using that jump normal pretty much the entire gameplay footage. That jump normal is probably one of our uh, best moves. So he's gonna be using it a lot. And that and the, uh, the multi slash skills. But Miyako was able. Ooh, whoa. That corner carry from Miyako. That's a really. uh, That came pretty far. Miyako tried to do like a. She tried to jab track him, grab him, probably. Lava uh, grab back. Actually, he actually got the grab. Then Miyako is like a fly buzzing all around Vlav. She went from the other side to the other side to the other side to the other side in the air. And uh, Vlav, why would you try to challenge Miyako? Is her moon version of lung punches? Ah! Ah! <laughs> With the elbow. I like the elbow, bro. I don't know. When people use their elbow in a fight, it looks kind of cool. Man, yeah, yeah. She didn't do the rock power, but this one's pretty cool too. So Miyako got that round. Then barely too. Look at Miyako health. It could have gone either way. Vlog lost, and because he lost, he gained ice powers and meter. So two benefit if he lose a round. That's a pretty huge benefit for Vlog. Dang that air terror, nice air terror from Vlog. Vlog shooting out missiles, and look at the ice missiles. And this is one thing I was really excited to see when I saw this gameplay trailer. So when Vlog shoots missiles, right? And when they show off Vlog character teaser, right? Like uh, a while ago, I was really worried about his projectiles, right? And people were shielding because there's a lot of shield interactions in all the trailers they keep posting. And video gameplay footage too, right? So I was worried that people could just shield Vlog projectile and like teleport and punish him for it. But, look how quickly he just jumped out of there. Look how quickly he just jumped out of there. So, Vlog projectiles have very fast recovery. He could just jump out of there. If you shoot it, super jump, super jump. See ya. I'm gonna go to the other side of the room. Oh, you have to get back in. Sorry, Miyako. So, Miyako is starting to run. Vlog's like, oh, you trying, to, you trying to rush me down? Stomp on the floor. Ice came out. Miyako got hit. Confirm it. Get over here, Miyako. And then went to the EX version of the ground projectile. Using, uh, he converted to a combo. So, yeah, dude. It seemed like it's going to get, you know, if the Vlog player know what he's doing or she's doing, right? The Vlog player, it's going to be really hard to lock down the Vlog player, right? Vlog player is doing moon version of projectile. And look at that. Again, he did a moon version of that ground stomp. Right? And Miyako's like on the other side of the screen. And now he's zoning her out with projectiles. Look at the missiles go. But for some reason, he tried to challenge. Uh, he just jumped at Miyako. Miyako took the opportunity, landed a fatal combo. 
Let's see what can Miyako get out of it. She popped Moon Drive to make her stomp safe. And then she just did double kicks. She's really trying to hit Vaugh. Swing it. And land a really nice fatal counter. What's the mix? Overhead. Grab, choke him out. Ooh, is it because Vlav is too tall? So Miyako did her grab, right? Choke him by the neck, grab, and did a really cool jump normal. And was able to convert it into a combo too. Is it because he's tall or could she do that to every character? I guess that's the curse of being a tall character, right? Yeah, you're really cool and tall, but you're gonna get style on. That's the sucky part. Because your hurt box is so big, because you're big. Dang, Vlog zoning out with her, uh, zoning Miyako with his projectiles. And then, he's charging. So, I didn't catch this really in the first gameplay trailer. But, shout out to this dude. Right? Gasuda. Right? On Twitter. He noticed it from the, this is from the first gameplay trailer. This is not this gameplay trailer, but it's pretty much the same concept. So Vlog begins to moon charge after knocking Miyako away, which we just saw, right? And you can see her moon drop gate depletes at a rapid rate. Seems like moon charge drains moon drive gauge. I guess there's more to the system mechanics that we don't know about. And I did a little bit of research too. It only drains, rapidly drains moon drives. Yeah, moon drive, because the yellow one's called moon meter, right? So only when the moon is red, and if you charge, it depletes very fast. So, we're going to see an example. Let me go ahead and put it at 100% speed. Wow, that looks so fast. <laughs> I'm not too used to it. Oh, look at it. So look at Miyako red moon. Just look at Miyako red moon. See, slowly depletes, slowly depletes. And then, Vlog moon drive, not moon charge. Moon charge, and look. Vlog did a moon charge. Rapidly depletes. So this only happens when your opponent moon is red. When you pop a moon drive. If you did a charge, you can rapidly deplete your opponent moon drive. And the whole point is if your opponent pop moon drive and you're able to knock them down really far like Blob did, you can make them waste a moon pop, right? A moon drive by charging. And pretty much their moon drive is gonna be gone. Like what just happened with Miyako, right? So let's watch that interaction again. She have half her moon gauge, but Vlog did a super moon charge, and now she have like almost zero moon tribe left. She can still do one move, but she probably can't armor through it because you need moon meter to armor through stuff. See, you saw that Miyako did like a moon skill. Which moon skill did she do? What was the one that had, <laughs> look at her, I didn't know she cried when she get hit, that's pretty cute. <laughs> oh, she didn't cry. Maybe it's just my head. Oh, maybe it's her hair, it just turned blue. All right, don't get off topic. But uh, I'm gonna take this theory. Maybe because she didn't have enough moon meter, she couldn't armor through it. She probably did a moon skill that could armor through stuff, but because Vlog drained her meter, she, could only, she only had enough moon meter to do a moon skill and not armor through it. So that's why the moon system is a lot more complicated than we think. There's going to be a lot of mind games with people moon charging. Dang, Vlog's like, whew, cold. <laughs> I'm cold. Dang, Vlog's so cool, dude. He's way too cool. I wonder what kind of accessories they're going to give him. All right, he's so cool already. How can you make him cooler? Take his shirt off. All right, Miyako gain meter. Because she lost a round. How are you going to start the match? Moon Ice Missiles from Vlav. Then Vlav is trying to zone Miyako out. Miyako just jumping all over the place. Managed to get a really nice jump in. And now Vlav stuck in the corner. Miyako took him out of the corner. Oh! She did. Oh! Vlav actually just shooting it! Oh, okay, that's tight. So, you know, previous gameplay video footage, Vlog got hit 100% of the time, but a cross-up, that cross-up elbow from Yako, 
Vlog went back to the lab before gameplay footage too. And we're like, okay, I got something special. If Miyako ever tried that cross up elbow against me ever again, she's gonna regret it. And what's his answer? He's shielded. Because then why that's a really good answer, in my opinion. You don't need to hold back any direction to shield. You just press a button. So if you see Miyako trying to do a cross up elbow, shielding would be a really good answer to it. But the problem is, if you shield too early, right? Couldn't Miyako still hit you in the back of your neck? Right? But I guess you could do this. Nice launcher. So if you shield the elbow, you get a cool launcher. So that's pretty cool. And then Vlaf uh, pressuring with missiles. Went for that nice jump in. Snatcher by the neck. Oh! That's the first time we saw the command grab in a real match from Vlaf. And it turns into a fatal counter because Miyako tried to shield. And that turns to big damage in the corner. Don't. Don't do that. <laughs> if you try to shield against Vlav in the corner, and he could just command grab you. And that would turn to big damage. So another cool thing is he fully charged this, right? You saw that Miyako got up. If she didn't get up, she'll get a clip in the head, right? She'll get knocked in the head. And that would have turned into a combo, a huge combo. So, you know, good job on Miyako blocking that overhead. But she didn't want to do any of that pressure anymore. She, she activated heat. Miyako, wow, she just Miyako play got really good jump ins, but uh, Miyako missed a little bit. Dang, I always try to jump over uh, Vlav Ice Missiles. Look, I told you this Miyako play got really good jump ins. Dang! That was really good. You gotta give him props. That was really good. This Miyako play is really good. He show off how good he was in the previous gameplay trailer too. I like this Miyako player. All right, all right. Dang, Vlav is dead? Wait a minute, he's almost dead. I thought this was a Vlav gameplay footage. Oh, wake up, moon drive into shield, the classic. Into a reversal, 50% moon meter reversal. And that can convert into huge damage. And what's the Oki? All right, just check her. Shoot some missiles. Vlav. Oh my gosh. No way, right? No way. So, dude, how ridiculous is his projectile? His projectile recovers so fast, right? Look how close he is to Miyako in that projectile. He's already walking. I don't think uh, shooting Vlav projectile is an answer. I think that's a mistake. Because if Vlav read your shield, you're gonna get launched. So if Vlav throw a projectile at you, you just block? What do you do against that? I guess uh, we saw him multiple times when this Miyako in this gameplay footage. You jump over it. Oh, dang. What the heck? What? All because she shielded his projectile? Miyako shielded Vlav projectile. And she made a really bad guess. So this is going to be like rock, paper, scissor. Miyako shoots scissors. Vlav shoot rock. Dang, you! I would have just shield and do nothing. So lesson learned, Vlav shoot projectiles at you. You can shield to get moon meter. But don't teleport, dude. If you teleport, look at Miyako life. If that Vlav player reach your teleport, that's a huge 30 to 40 percent. Dang! Vlav projectile game is good. Oh, he's gonna look really strong, man. Especially with people that's really good at uh, with projectiles characters, right? Zoning characters. They're gonna be a monster with this dude. This dude projectile is really good. Really fast recovery too. Oh man. Dang, that made me like, dude. My eyes didn't like that. I'm like, holy crap. One of my eyes like stopped working. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, ooh, my eyes. <laughs> whoa, 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 vlog, vlog. Hold up. <laughs> all right, all right. So now that we break it down, let's try to watch it 100% a speed. All right. Let's do it. Oh, 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 oh. Exol. Yosh, Exol. I forgot about that normal boys. Okay, let's do it now. Yosh, <laughs> Exol.
行くぞ Dang <laughs> Love VA is way too godlike Yo, shout out to Seto Kaiba Alright Dang Vlav, huge sword normals Keeping Miyako out Don't get in my range, child Oh, well, never mind Miyako got back in People's elbow OTG Corner combo Not shit Oh, Vlav activate Moon Drive and armor through Miyako nonsense. They switch position. Miyako is pushing Vlav. Vlav keep pushing Miyako out though. Miyako managed to shield one of Vlav projectiles. Missiles. Teleport back in, but maybe you don't want to get in on uh, Vlav, Miyako. What's the Oki? Overhead. Damn, double overhead from Vlav, but Miyako managed to block both overheads. Nice. And she managed to land a hit into a really nice combo that's almost went to the corner. Vlav grabbed out. Really nice shield interaction from both Miyako and Vlav. Miyako buzzing around Vlav. Landed it, one of her Lun punches, her Moon Lun bunches. And she's plus. Vlav tried to press a button, thinking, oh, maybe it's my turn. Miyako elbow him. Converted to a nice combo, she took that round. Good job from Miyako. And because uh, Vlav lost around, he's able to gain his ice powers now. And one meter. So this is going to be a little bit of a different match now that Vlav has ice powers. Right? More damage, faster projectiles, all that good stuff. Vlav doing his best in life. Keep Miyako out. Miyako doing her best in life. She's trying to keep her uh, close to Vlav. <laughs> I like that, bro. She just... I like that. Went the wrong way. Really nice grab combo from Yako. I really love that super from Yako. Overhead into. Hmm, interesting. Bob just heated out. Avoid that pressure from Yako. A really nice ice missiles confirmation to super from Bob. And he did a moon tribe to quickly deplete Miyako moon meter. And Vlog took that first round. Sweet. Overflowing vitality. All right, Miyako got one meter because she lost around. How are they going to open up this match? Vlog tried to open up with some ice missiles, but Miyako with the really nice jumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, interesting choice from Miyako. Try to take Vlog out of the corner and mix him up with the cross up elbow. Vlog was ready, shielded Miyako elbow, and now the tables are turned. Now Miyako stuck in the corner. Miyako heated to get out of the situation. Now we're back to neutral. Vlog definitely utilizing a lot of those ice missiles, but Miyako with a really nice jump in. And now she's going to keep Vlog in the corner. Vlog, if you don't block the next hit, you're dead. Wake up, moon drive, shield, moon reversal. The situation has turned. What you going to do, Miyako? Now you're stuck in the corner. Miyako tried to do the same thing, right? Shield, but she used teleport. But Vlav read the teleport. Launches Miyako into the air and landed a really nice hard hitting super combo. And that's the end of the match. Nicely done, Vlav. So, September 30th. That's so close, bro. That's so close. That's actually really close. So, yeah. That's the end of the gameplay footage from Vlav versus Miyako. And. Vlav looks way better than I expected, honestly. I didn't expect his projectiles to recover that fast. I'm really impressed. And his normals look really good, actually. Right? Especially the moves I pointed out in the beginning of the video. That jump. That jump normal. Whatever that normal is. And his new... That skill right there. We see what Vlav just armored through. That move looked mad good. So, yeah. Vlog missiles, his jump normals, and that slash skill looks really good. He didn't really use too much of his ground projectile, you know that stomp, and then either fire or ice comes out. He mostly used that in combos and combo strings, right? And then for block strings, he like he used the moon version to push the opponent way back. But then if it's not in the block string, I noticed that he just used like the regular version to like, you know, for a combo. And sometimes he EX it too to like send the combo. So that's a pretty interesting choice. I think I'm starting to understand a little bit more of Vlog Neutral, and I'm starting to like him a lot more actually because of that, right? Because he's like, I thought he's gonna be way slower 
than uh, the average characters. I guess he is slow, but not very, very slow. And I really like that they actually pair him up with Miyako, right? Because Miyako does look like a very, very top speed character. So seeing Vlom zone her out and keep her out, look at that! It makes me, it makes me pretty, uh, it shows promise in Vlom. He's looking, he might be actually a really good zoning character. So pretty excited to draw out Vlom when the game drop. Will I main him? Eh, most likely not. But he does look very fun, so of course I'll mess with him, dude. Everyone's gonna mess with him. Vlom is like the coolest character in the game. Who's not gonna mess with him? So tell me in the comment section below, right? What's your favorite part of the trailer? Are you still a Miyako fan? Are you going main Miyako or are you a Vlov main? And are you a Vlov main because, you know, the character teaser, you thought he was way cool? Or did the gameplay footage change your mind like it did to me? Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by, right? Please like, subscribe, that really help out the channel, and I'm going to head out. Later, bye!